afternoon, everybody. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. Another update from Ministry Days today. Over the last several days, and indeed the last several years, the Unitarian Universalist Ministers Association has been considering significant revisions to our ethics and accountability guidelines. Broadly, this is the standards of professional conduct that we agree to uphold as part of our membership in the association and our profession as clergy. The edits that were proposed are wide-ranging, covering topics from clarifying bullying as a violation of our code of conduct to creating a proactive duty to intervene when we observe a violation taking place. And this has been an iterative process. A year ago, at this conference, guidelines were proposed that resulted in a, in a year of study and revision, clarifying some issues that, were, that there were outstanding questions about. Last year, I was skeptical about the guidelines proposal. That's no secret. This year, I voted for the revisions quite happily. Now, a professional code of conduct might seem like inside baseball, and indeed, uh, some of the conversations about grammar that I've been in over the last year have verged on the arcane. But the guidelines serve several really important functions. First and most importantly, they ensure the safety of those we serve in ministry. Now, clergy serve in positions of considerable trust. Prior to the pandemic, ministers were invited into people's homes often. We still, even if sometimes it's over Zoom, are regularly present in the most difficult and the most joyful moments of people's lives, moments where, where lives are tender and raw. The guidelines lay out the expectations for our behavior in those moments and make it actionable when we break those expectations, because when we do, we've broken trust in a really tremendous and difficult way. They also describe our behavior with each other as clergy, and this is a place where the, the Ministers Association is actively working to do better as an organization. How do we ensure that our professional association is a space for all of us? And we haven't always done well at this, in fact, the, the some of the stories that we've heard over the last several days have really made clear that we haven't done this well. But the proposed revisions, and particularly the duty to intervene, are an attempt to address this. So this is inside baseball, but this matters in the life of the congregation. Lincoln's bylaws specify that whatever minister serves here shall be a minister in fellowship with the UUA, and will follow the Minister's Association Code of Conduct. It's a reminder for anyone in my position that we are accountable in specific ways to specific people for our actions. The guidelines revisions have been, uh, the vote's been going on for the last 24 hours um, online and asynchronously. Uh, the final results will be announced at two o'clock, so I'll, I'll try and record uh, an addendum to this video uh, after they pass. Uh, right now, as I'm recording, uh, there haven't, the, the official results have not yet been announced. Tomorrow, General Assembly begins, um, and so we'll take some time uh, during the daily update tomorrow to talk about the report of the Unitarian Universalist Association's Commission on Institutional Change, which has been working over the last several years on some big systemic changes for the UUA. That report was published this week, and the Commission will be presenting uh, its final report verbally uh, to the Assembly this week as well. So I'll see you... Uh, for a brief update um, with results of that guidelines vote, uh, and then I'll see you tomorrow uh, when we talk more about General Assembly. Have a great evening. Just as an update, uh, that meeting is now over and the guidelines revisions um, passed overwhelmingly. So um, once we have a final draft of them that's published publicly, uh, I'll link to those in one of these 
uh, updates and you can review them at your leisure. All right, see you tomorrow, everybody.